In this next session, I'm going to go over a new feature in Excel 2016 referred to as the Quick Analysis. And we'll go here under Quick Analysis. At this point here under Quick Analysis, and I'm going to zoom out a little bit, you have a bunch of numbers. There are the directions here on the right hand side as well. So what you can do is you look at the bottom right of the selection and that's where you'll see the Quick Analysis button. And from there, you can explore the various different options. For example, you can get charts, you can get totals and tables with just one single click. So the way you'll do that is by s simply selecting this range of data. And now notice you have this quick analysis area here. So you click on it and then you can see here the data bars, very similar to what we saw earlier that you can apply to this a color scale that you could apply based on the values in there. Additionally, you could use uh, icon sets, greater values, or the other thing you can do here is you can go under charts and you can see a preview of various possible charts that you could utilize from that data. Or you can access the totals. For example, getting the totals here, notice in the very bottom now it added a new average column or counting, or percentages, or a running total. So it's another way of you utilizing some of the functions that we learned manually, but utilizing them with a single click from here. The other thing that you can do here under tables, you could uh, create here a fancier looking table if you needed to, a pivot table that you can massage the data uh, in various ways and we'll cover the pivot tables toward the end of this tutorial as it gets more complex here but uh, this is where you kind of get the idea and then uh, for example notice it's doing pivot table calculations here financial miscellaneous and all that type of stuff by various categories and then uh, additional functions as well then you have also these various types of lines and columns or win versus loss that it's going to apply within a specific cell. So this is within the actual cell or demonstrate the trends for the data. So you can check them out for yourself as well. And then you can format these by using various styles here in Excel. And like I mentioned earlier, this is a new feature, uh, particularly in Excel 2016.